Hi, my name is John Pena with Pena El Paso Realty Group. Thank you so much for checking out the YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna, we went to the uh, Festival of Homes just last month. Last year, it was Parade of Homes, and it was about uh, like 600,000 to a million dollar homes on the west side. This year, it's Festival of Homes in the far east, and the homes are more in the neighborhood of 400 to 600,000. We've got builders that we're gonna show you, Palo Verde, Bic, Icon, Everest, Fortune, to name a few. So this episode, we're going to showcase uh, the Palo Verde home and the Bic home, and then we're going to release the other ones kind of as the week goes on. So without further ado, let's check out some new construction in El Paso, Texas. Okay, this is a Palo Verde home, three car garage, fancy tile uh, roof, the stone on the exterior, nice little accents on the outside, almost like kind of a farmhouse vibe. And let's see what we got. Lovely tile floors, nice high ceilings, wood beams throughout. Uh, so, Carpet in the bedrooms. Um, this is a really cool feature. Plantation shutters, always an upgrade. We've got awesome uh, storage in this space. Of course, everything is uh, decorated perfectly. A little bit of space on the video or on the linen. Full bath. Um, We've got kind of granite. I think actually these might be quartz countertops. So this is awesome. Tile in the bathroom. Love the blue accents. Um, everything nice and new here. Second bedroom here, set up for a girl's room. Looks uh, very cute. Again, love the built-in storage. Uh, the dark accent doors. Leah, nice to meet you. Two car, oh, three car garage. Come on, this is awesome. Um, love the speckled floors. Uh, awesome to have the uh, storage up top. And on these newer homes, we are getting uh, the tankless hot water on demand, which is nice. Um, don't have to worry about. Um, uh, the the tank so this is nice exterior a little bit of extra space on the yard love how they've got the um, artificial turf so this all looks fantastic big old Palo Verde uh, this is great we've got um, this one is set up as a movie room this is becoming a popular thing they've got the um, um, LCD projector right there, big screen here, and this is epic because you've got an awesome little dry bar here. Um, or actually, I guess this is entertainment equipment. So um, that is pretty awesome. Come back to there. Love the high ceilings. This bad boy opens up into uh, open concept living room, kitchen here. Love the uh, big old island here. All stainless steel appliances. This is beautiful. Love the white cabinets and everything like that here. Dining room space, living room space. This all looks awesome. Love the beams in here. Boom, carpet in the master bedroom. Love the light. Nice, big, spacious room. Love the accent wall here. That is awesome. Love that. And then, of course, what home would be complete without a barn door? Opens up into the master. I do love the color of these cabinets here. Double vanity sinks. Yeah, standalone tub here. Beautiful. Big walk-in shower, all glass. It's awesome. Yeah, that looks great. Uh, privacy commode, and then a nice big master closet. That is perfect. Let's check out the backyard. Now, since this is Festival of Homes, they've done up the backyards, but remember, typically uh, you're not going to get a finished backyard. 
but this one is finished because they want it to look awesome. So nice uh, exterior concrete here, patio, and come on, big old TV and a fireplace outside. So this is epic uh, in the winter. Again, artificial turf is, it looks fantastic. Zero scaped here. This one's a nice big corner lot. And one of the unique things about this particular area in the Far East is that you actually have an alley. So alleys are not that common in El Paso, but uh, this little stretch of uh, the Far East around this Pebble Hills uh, area has an alley. So this is a big old gate to be uh, to the alley. I do like that this one also has that separate space there so you could almost put your dog over there. Uh, if you wanted to keep him out of this space. And let's check out that laundry room with the dog wash. Yeah, like this yard is beautiful. How you doing? How you doing? No, you're good. I uh, love the, uh, uh, the, the wood in there. Yeah, this all looks great. So they are calling this the Acacia 4 three-car garage farmhouse. 1844 square feet, four bed, two bath, base price 350, upgrades 87. So that puts this home at $438,600. Awesome um, gas burning stove with a hood. I love the uh, shelving and storage above. It's got the lighting underneath the cabinets here. Nice big refrigerator. Awesome. This is all fantastic. A little bit of pantry space here. And then let's check out that laundry space. Just gonna peek in here. So you got a little dog washing yeah. space there. How you guys doing? <laughs> Everybody loves their dogs. So this one, look at this. They've got a built-in uh, dog uh, house. <laughs> That's awesome. I haven't seen that before. So um, that is pretty good. So um, that is the Palo Verde home, the three-car garage, uh, farmhouse, $438,000. Lots of really nice details. Um, nice big lot, too, on this one. Okay, this one is gonna be a home by Bick Homes. Um, love the uh, planters in the front here. A little bit more detail work on the exterior. Again, all of these tiles on the ceilings are pretty epic. This one is uh, has a fancier driveway, two-car garage, not the uh, three-car. Nice little entryway with a gate, a little sitting area, and love the uh, kind of brick space here. Nice covered courtyard. Love the big oversized door. Everybody's got these fancy new doorbells and let's see what we got from Vic here. Hello. Hi there, how are you doing? Very good. Awesome. So awesome, nice high ceilings. Love this light fixture. Accent space here with the recessed lighting. Of course, we've got the tile floors here with that wood look. And this one goes straight into the uh, open concept uh, living room. Love the high beams here. Uh, accent wall with the electric fireplace. Lots of browns, neutral colors. Looks really, really good. Uh, love all the details in the ceiling, especially love that light. That is awesome. Nice dining room space here that flows seamlessly into the kitchen here. Love the uh, kitchen island, the details here. Got the wine rack above the refrigerator. Love the um, skylights, always provide a great uh, amount of kind of natural light. Looks like they even have kind of under counter lighting there, which is pretty epic, haven't seen that yet. Um, great sink with the stainless steel appliances, of course. Love that um, uh, accent uh, behind the oven there. That's great. Microwave and oven built in. This home as well has the plantation shutters. Love it. Yeah, this is great. Love the hood, uh, the gas oven. Everybody wants their appliance nook. Uh, pantry space here in the corner. A little bit bigger than some of the others that we've seen. 
Yeah, the skylight makes a huge difference. It's really a, a big skylight. So, this all looks fantastic here. We'll flow through. Oh, you're good. Awesome. Here we've got a little half bath here, right off of the living room and kitchen. Again, um, getting a vibe that uh, detail walls are kind of a thing this year uh, at Festival of Homes. Love the colors. It's great. Uh, looks like we might have another theater room. We're getting another vibe that theater rooms are a big thing. We saw these last year as well, though. So. Um, now remember, this isn't necessarily a bedroom because this doesn't have a, um, a closet. So this is either a theater room or it's an office, could be a playroom, a den. But again, this one's cool because they do have the space for the fridge, um, games, things like that. Uh, love the kind of subtle lighting here. Um, it's really great. Built-in speakers as well. So that's great for your theater room. I'm guessing we're gonna have ourselves a couple of bedrooms here. We're back to carpet. Nice size bedroom here, consistent with the plantation shutters. Typical closets that we see in, uh, in normal bedrooms. We should have ourselves a full bathroom right here, which we do. Nice. Inter ceramic is being well represented here. Interesting tile pattern I haven't really seen before. That's nice. Uh, and, oh, privacy commode, perfect. This would be the second bedroom, true bedroom, on the front corner of the home. Nice size room, carpet, same type of closet layout again. And then we've got this wing of the home, which is gonna have our garage right here. Nice two car garage. Same thing, tankless hot water heater. A little bit of additional storage space there. Plumbing turn off right there. It's a nice feature. Again, additional storage up top. Laundry room. No dog wash in this one, but this is beautiful. Cabinets all match, and it's great, of course, to have water. Um, in your laundry room and then on the back corner of the home we've got the master bedroom again love the detail in the ceiling this is a very spacious room a little bit of additional seating here plenty of space for that king size bed nice size master closet and no door takes us through to the master bathroom again freestanding tub Looks fantastic, frosted glass window. We've got the double vanity sinks. And I love this kind of divider, actually. That's pretty, um, it seems logical. And then a nice size, oversized shower with the two shower heads. Love the detail in the uh, uh, insert there, the windows. That looks great. A Little bit of additional storage. And then that uh, privacy commode. And let's check out the back yard of this guy. Someone's beautiful wife there. All right, sliding doors to the outside. So uh, nice covered back patio space here, again with this kind of brick. Um, Actually, I think this is like kind of a concrete pressed brick look. I uh, could be wrong, of course. Um, lots of sitting space though outside here. And again, artificial turf, uh, zero scape here on the back. A Little bit of space on the side of the home. Uh, access down to your alley. And this, I love uh, these raised beds out here. That's awesome, additional seating. Yeah, hopefully they got, yeah, they've got drip irrigation in there to keep those guys alive. Yeah, so really nice home. Also noticing that a lot of the homes have uh, the security cameras already built in on the exterior of the home. So um, that's becoming a kind of a, a common feature as well. Of course, on newer homes, you want to take advantage of uh, the uh, technology 
even just having all the built-in wiring and everything ready to go in the home it is pretty great. So let's see if we can get an idea of this floor plan. So it looks like this is a Mallorca, 2,138 square feet. Yeah, perfect. So, um, yeah, basically this is a three bedroom home with the additional theater bedroom. So they're kind of calling it theater bedroom four, but again, eh, to really be a bedroom, it really needs to have a, um, a closet. So great home here by Big. Love how you, right when you come in, everything just opens up to the living space. So this is a really beautiful home as well. We rely on the desalinate, the desalination plant uh, to take the salt out of those. Uh, just sorry, I keep going. <laughs> ah, I felt so good. I was on a roll.